Well, Richie Ferre is a music pioneer, trailblazing the country rock sound of the 60s and 70s that we grew up with. He has been inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of the mega band Buffalo Springfield. All of you remember the signature hit? Yeah. For what it's worth. What a song. It is one of the most familiar tunes of the 60s. Even people who lived through the 60s, they may not remember much about it because they lived in it, but they remember that song. Buffalo Springfield is a band which he founded with a couple of guys you might have heard of, Stephen Stills and Neil Young. But Richie is also a founding member of the country rock band Poco, plus the trio Souther, Hillman, Ferre. Richie Ferre, a musician's musician. And he's here to talk about his remarkable life and career in music, ministry, and family. Give a big welcome to Richie Ferre. Richie. Thank you, Governor. Thank you so much. I am thrilled to have you here. Thank you. It's my honor to be here, for sure. You've had an extraordinary career that goes over 50 years. Yeah. You started Buffalo Springfield with Neil Young, Stephen Steele's. Yeah. I mean, you guys pioneered a sound of music that really kind of changed rock and roll in that time. Yeah, we did. We were one of the first bands in Los Angeles to actually play our own music in the studio. Most everyone yeah. was uh, the Wrecking Crew played there. So we were one of the first bands. And, uh, you know, my career has been so interesting because I never had anyone ever tell me, you got to sound like this or you mm. have to be like this group. So we were always pioneers kind of leading the way for, uh, you know, music while we were just living the moment. It was great. Back then, did you think, oh, in 50 years, I'll still be doing this stuff? No, I was retired by now. <laughs> I am retired now, yeah. but uh, I was, I said at 40, I'm done, you know, but here we are, you know, some 30 years later. <laughs> Something that has impressed me, uh, you have spent a lot of your adult life, I mean, you've still been active in music, Yeah. but you have spent most of your adult life ministering as a pastor of a church, yep. which a lot of people say, wow, I didn't know that about Richie. Was there a moment at which the Lord became the center of your life? Was that after the music uh, career? Absolutely. Uh, the Lord became the center of my life when I really had to carpet, really pulled out from under me. My wife and I had been married for seven years and uh, she ended up winning a divorce, and we separated for mm. seven months. Wow! And it was it was pretty uh, it was it was pretty devastating. We've got 54 years coming up now. Though. I think so, that's yeah, pretty good. 54 <laughs> years. <laughs> but, wow! <laughs> uh, but it, it was it was there that you know I, I accepted the Lord, and uh, uh, it was like I was learning a lot of Scripture at that time. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. And you know, there, there was a time when I'm wondering, you know, how long is this path? You know, I didn't know. <laughs> Some of us are still wondering that. Seven <laughs> months felt like forever. But you know what? I wouldn't trade those seven months of separation now for anything because mm. it was then that the Lord really took Nancy, my wife, and took me and, and, and showed us that he had to be first in our life. He, he didn't want us separated, but he wanted to be first in our life, and that's what happened. And, uh, and after that, you know, I, I, uh, I pastored a church, Calvary Chapel in Broomfield in Boulder, Colorado, for uh, 35 years. Wow. And uh, if somebody would have told me somewhere along the way, you know what, you're going to be a Christian, number one, and then number two, you know, you're going to be a pastor. I looked at him yeah. and I said, Yo, sure, right, right. Yeah. right. Uh -huh. But, you know, you could have just said, uh, marriage isn't that important. My music oh. is important. You clearly have a gift. I'm amazed at how your voice is so strong. I mean, it's just oh. terrific. And yet you decided four daughters a wife and grandchildren were more important to you Absolutely. than being famous or rich in, in the music industry. I mean, not many people have made that choice. Many have turned the other way yeah, well, and probably regret it. I, I, uh, I, I tell you, I'm just so thankful that the Lord was very patient with me and uh, I did, I gave, I gave it up. I thought I was done with music hmm. after, um, I mean, we were in the middle of the Souther Hillman Fury band and it was like, I have to have my, my family. That's yeah. what I want. I, and so I was on a crusade at that point in time. God bless you. Know, you. Yeah, well. And then God has blessed us through you. You've got a uh, new recording coming out yeah. this summer, mm -hmm. uh, which I'm excited about hearing. I think country classics yeah. you're going to be doing. And a documentary that's in production that'll come out next year, yep. The uh, Life and Influence of Richie Ferre. I, I think that's going to be fun. When is that going to come out where we can see it? 
Um, well, that will be, you know, in, uh, I guess, next year. So it, it's, still a, it's still a little ways down the road. I do have a, a double CD uh, project. I, I recorded Poco's live uh, 50, it was called Deliver, the album was called Deliverin', uh -huh. and I took my band to the Troubadour and, and did a 50 year anniversary type thing, and, and we did the whole album. Uh, wow. Live, so I don't know any other group that's ever done a live recording of a live recording, you know. But I that's think that's what, pretty good. That's what we did, um, and then um, uh, let's see, in 2019, uh, I did I did this country classics album of which we did 14 songs in four days, and then COVID came along and it kind of put everything on hold. So it's coming out this summer. But what a project that was! Well, I'm uh, I'm just glad that you're still going, and whew. you know what I'm most glad of. You're here tonight, and we're going to get to play some music with oh, you. Oh, great. That is exciting. Thank you, Governor. Keith Bilbrey is standing by to uh, give us a little preview of what's coming up. Well, for all the latest about Richie's life and music, go to his website at richieforay.com.